Ameritech and Telecom Professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are here in the Windy City of Chicago, Illinois, at the ITW 2016 show, and I am sitting with the CEO of Metro Optic, Mr. Michael Boucher. Michael, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. Well, thank you for being here. Um, we're going to start. We're going to start by uh, letting our viewers know a little bit about Metro Optic. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm very happy to do that. So we are a provider of strategic fiber solutions in Canada, and uh, we have two businesses. We have the Metro Optic business, which is a fiber business. And we have a data center business that is branded ICE Data Centers, which stands for interconnection and collocation for the enterprise market. Mm -hmm. um, what's really special about us is that um, we have a very unique position in Canada where we sit at the, on the highway uh, for the Internet between Europe and the U.S. Mm -hmm. So uh, much of the data flows through Canada because uh, Hibernia just opened up their Hibernia Express cable, yep. and uh, among uh, other routes, it, uh, much of the data flows through Canada that is destined for the U.S., but also is destined westwards towards Asia. Very good. So um, since we're, we're talking a little bit about Canada, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Interconnect Center that you have in Montreal? Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, because we are uh, at the nexus of the data flow, um, it's very important uh, to provide to our customers a center where they can not only host data, but they can also interconnect to the eyeballs. So if you think about Canada, it's, it's a large market, it's 40 million people. And so there is a business need to connect with uh, 40 million people, but then there's also the business need to, uh, uh, to take your data further into the U.S., and to connect to providers. So we provide the interconnection to short haul, long haul, mm -hmm. and, uh, the, the, and through the metro optic network within Montreal uh, to the major enterprises and data centers. Fantastic. So that actually um, provides a nice segue for my very next question, and that is um, your targeted verticals, customers. Who, um, who, who are those targets? Yeah, uh, great question. Um, it's a bit of everything, mm -hmm. but uh, we see our strongest uh, traction uh, in the cloud market. And uh, the cloud providers are in Canada for two reasons. One is that they have a, a very low cost to co-locate there. It's about four to five cents per kilowatt hour mm -hmm. versus in the U.S. where most metropolitan areas are three to four times that. But the other thing is also that uh, they need to interconnect to get to Europe and to get to Asia. And it's a very neutral location. It's, uh, Canada is obviously not subject to the Patriot Act. So many of our European clients take advantage of that and uh, co-locate and then interconnect at our, uh, at our facility in Montreal uh, to reach the eyeballs uh, either south of the border or going westward. Very good. So lots of interesting things happening there at yeah. Metro Optic. Um, so excellent. So um, Tell us about the interesting things that are going to happen, say, in the next six months. What's new? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I assume, I assume uh, more great stuff, right? Yes, yes, Very more good. great stuff. We are opening another facility in uh, Toronto. It's mm -hmm. going to be a very large data center. And we're building a, a very hush-hush uh, connectivity strategy around we'll that. Keep it, we'll keep it hush-hush here, we'll too. keep it hush-hush, <laughs> good. So it, it'll be a high-density interconnect center as well. And then we're continuing to uh, develop our center in Montreal. Um, so our big announcement is we just won Telia Sonera, which means that we have now four out of the five biggest IP transit companies as our customers, mm -hmm. and that is critical. And uh, we hope to have more to come. Outstanding. So for our viewers that were, are interested in knowing about the latest and greatest at Metro Optic, where should they go? Well, they should go to our website, mm -hmm. uh, metrooptic.com. I think that's a quite comprehensive website in terms of our products, but also our approach to business. Because we are at, 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 at a global interconnection point, we speak English, we speak French, we speak Spanish, um, and we understand the needs of both our telecommunication providers. So, for example, we have a AC and a DC plant on site. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, AC being enterprise class AC, 
DC being carrier class DC plant. And, and, and we also help them get to other locations through our own proprietary fiber builds. So in the dark fiber market, it is really a, a position that is now quite unique because we're the remaining independent provider in Canada. Very good. Michael, thank you very much for being with us here today. We very, uh, greatly appreciate it. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon. Thank you.